So this is the conversation I told you guys that we were getting ready to have the Scarborough Annual Fisherman Festival. It's happening on March 29th uh, at the I Love Tobago sign and it's Love absolutely it. free entry. And this morning we have the CEO and event coordinator of the Scarborough Fisherman Festival joining us via phone, Eliyahu Ben Israel. Good morning to you, sir. Listen, listen, what you hear? Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning, sir. How are you doing this morning? You're fine, thank you. All right, so give us a quick update as to, uh, well, let me, let's actually go back. How did, how did this Fisherman Festival get started? Oh, this Fisherman Festival got started um, based on how Scarborough was, was, was going with all different festivals coming out of Scarborough, the Carnival, you know, from since, since 2022, we realized the Carnival going out downhill, and we had in 2023, Carnival was coming up, and we realized that the Carnival wouldn't be a sort of a success in Scarborough again. So me and some business people in Scarborough, small business people, we came together and decided to do this festival here to kind of bring back something in Scarborough to replace what has been lost, what has been going. And here we are right now, we form an organization called the Capital Chamber, and it's a group of small business in Scarborough that came together and formed this group here. And our motto, our logo is the economics of unity. So we come together and we put full of our, our money together our funds together and decided to do this, and we have others coming on board as we speak. Interesting. You you said this came about as a result of the carnival dwindling, as in the national carnival or the Tobago yeah, carnival. Yeah, dwindling here in Scarborough, and we saw that there's a space where Scarborough wouldn't be having like nothing for a long period of time for the entire year. So we decided to do something to replace back that carnival that was leaving Scarborough. And we did it last year around Good Friday. All right, nice. So, but uh, what can we what can we expect in this in this festival? Well, this festival you can expect a lot of stuff in this festival. Last year, we had the boat race, the jet ski, the five k, and the aerobics, the video games, and the um, all fours with the draft competition. But this year, we added a little more to it. We'll be going with Easter bonnet competition. We also doing a treasure hunt for the kids, and we have a piñata. So the piñata is free, the treasure hunt is free, and the um, Easter Bonnet competition is $100 to register for the Easter Bonnet comp competitions. All right, fantastic. Uh, do you think the, the oil spill happening uh, that, that happened is going to affect the festival at all or what you're able to do? Yeah, um, the oil spill will not affect us because we reached out to Tima, um, Alan Stewart, and also Curtis Douglas from All Fisher Folk, and they gave us the OK that it's okay to go and promote and advertise the event because they will be finished with the um, site in the next two weeks. And okay. also got um, a press briefing from the chief sixteen in that Scarborough is all clear and then moving on to Lambo and the other areas. So Scarborough okay. is clear and ready for the festival. All right, well, that's absolutely fantastic to hear that. Scarborough is clear and ready for the festival now. So the yeah. festival, I understand it's free entry to the entire festival? Yeah, it's free entry to the entire festival, you know. It's a family and fun day for the people at Scarborough. You know, it's extended all the way up to the SPNR, so it's from the stage in the sea up to, to the SPNR, allowing business people in that vicinity who doesn't get a chance with the, with the carnival to make any kind of money to put back something into their pockets around this time when they lost it from the carnival. You know, so it's all the way up to the SPNR, and we intend to extend it all through Scarborough. It's not limited to down by the stage in the sea, you know. Bars and shops could open up. You know, and kind of have this kind of festivity spirit in them and do what they could do, you know. All right, fantastic. And what time are we starting from? Yeah, this will we'll start at 9 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we're going to have, I think, the 5K is supposed to start early in the morning. We haven't fi have a final time for the 5K, whether it be morning or evening. But last year, the 5K started at 5 o'clock in the evening, and we're trying to shift it to a morning event over having it in the evening. That's the only changes we're trying to bring to the event. Otherwise, okay. 9 o'clock it will start, and you will mm -hmm. have the um, all four starting at 11 o'clock. You will have video game competition starting at um, 9 o'clock, and the draft competition starting at 10 o'clock. These are kind of uh, time-consuming events, so we're starting them early in the morning so as they could run out during the day. The beer drinking, um, wrestling, um, boat race, all those will be happening in the evening time. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, I want to wish you all the best with the festival. If people want to get more information, where can they go? Um, they can contact 
um, up top bar. They can contact um, Ashley Diamond Rock, and they can also contact Rayup. Its number is 277-0120. Yeah. All right. Well, thank yeah. you so very much for joining yeah. us this morning, Mr. Ben Israel. Thank you very much, also. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. The second annual Scarborough Fisherman Festival is happening on March 29th uh, at the Isle of Tobago sign. But of course, all of Scarborough is involved and the businesses are in and around the area. They want you to support and come out and enjoy a family fun day. Let's take a quick break and come back with more inside the normal news. So stay tuned. You see she